Okay, that's the thing that up for us, folks. Are you ready? To shouts of rip his head off and oh my god, gladiators in medieval armor battle it out with steel swords and axes on Saturday, a month in New York's Central Park. In one-on-one -on -one matches, members of Gladiators NYC wear helmets, chainmail and full armor weighing up to 100 pounds bash each other in the head with real weapons and violently kick, punch and throw each other in the dirt using full contact mixed martial arts techniques in three one minute rounds. Up to four nights fight to the finish until one is left standing. Why do these men do it? Victory is really not the main point of fighting for me. So I'm no, nowhere near good enough to compete for any sort of place or title or medals. I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have you know the money for the kid. So I'm just here for the violence. Dish and receive. Because I like to. Because it feels good to hit people and it feels good to get hit. Gladiators NYC is the flagship program for free martial arts and fitness non-profit Santa's Knights, founded by 40-year-old Damien de Grazia eight years ago. De Grazia's path to teaching martial arts to children and aspiring knights is an unusual one. From the US Air Force to Columbia University to a master's in finance at Harvard University and then as a management consultant at Morgan Stanley. Gladiators NYC is our flagship program for Santa's Knights and it is our flagship free martial arts and fitness program. It is a full armored combat uh, experience where people fight in full steel armor, steel weapons, full contact MMA. I founded that sport in New York about eight years ago. I was ex-military, I was in the Air Force, then I went to Columbia University, studied sociology, went for a master's in finance at Harvard University, and then, you know, what it seemed the natural progression is going to Wall Street, right? Wall Street is where it's at, you know, Columbia recruits heavily into Wall Street, and I was, through my whole undergrad and master's, I was internships at different investment banks, United Nations, all types of things like that, and I ended up in Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley, top investment bank of the world, pretty much, always top three. So it was really like I had arrived. But as he sat there in his big glass tower, he realized that his interest in money, the driving motivator behind doing the work that he thought he was going to do for the rest of his life at one of the top three investment banks in the world was missing. I remember I was asked by a supervisor at Edward said, like, what motivates you? Does money motivate, motivate, does money motivate you? And I was like, no. And I didn't, like, so at an investment bank, they, they don't know what to do with you at that point, right? Like, if money doesn't motivate you, then what, what do I do, you know? And I was like, well, what motivates you? I was like, helping people, I like to help people. Then I went to the military, right? So then I, I thought about, you know, I always want to help people uh, with my martial arts and save somebody or something. I always put my life in the line of danger if need be. For De Grazia, his way of helping people was to start a non-profit that offers free martial arts and fitness classes to all those who seek it. There's nothing more important than martial arts and fitness for people today because besides the danger involved, it's the fitness you get out of it, the health that you get out of it that's important because the thing that's killing Americans the most right now besides COVID, right? which is health-oriented, kind of fitness-oriented type of challenges as well, is healthy lifestyles and all that kind of stuff. The more that we can bring that out there, the less we're going to need doctors and medicines and interventional medicine and all that kind of stuff. We just hit the core of it, which is be healthy, do fitness. And when you start to do more fitness, you eat more healthy, you change your lifestyle, and now we're saving lives.
even though the modern day knight no longer has a six figure salary it's a very deep more fulfilling life now he says no i don't have a six figure salary anymore no i don't have that whole kind of um life that i used to have when i worked at wall street but it's a very deep more fulfilling life now got the little kids and we've got people that need help with all types of things and just finding ways to use that experience that i gained professionally to do good things. 